Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to talk to you about why your bills sometimes show up on your profit and loss and sometimes do not. This is a question that comes up with my clients during training calls, and so it's a perfect question to demonstrate for you guys. Let's go ahead and create a bill real quick. So I'm going to go to plus new under vendors. I'm going to select a bill. A bill is a transaction that is not yet paid. So let's say we're going to, um, Delta would never give us a bill. Let's get a bill from the insurance broker. Let's say we've got a bill from the insurance broker. It's dated for today. It's due in two weeks. Um, let's call it for the category of insurance expense. Um, it's $12.52 as I record this. So we're going to say our bill is for $1,252. I'm just going to say save and close. So I'm not paying the bill. I'm not marking the bill as paid. I'm just like, hey, QuickBooks, there's this bill that I need to pay later. I'm going to go to my reports and I'm going to pull up my profit and loss. And I'm, I'm just going to pull this up as of today because I want to keep it real easy. When I run the report, I can see my insurance expense. And clearly, I like this example a lot because it's $13.52. Let me click on it just so you can see the details behind the details. So I've got a bill for $12.52. That's what I just entered. And I have a journal entry for some other demo from earlier today. So fantastic. My bill shows up. Well, sometimes when you pull up your profit and loss report, the bill doesn't show up. And if you're not sure why, the answer is the report asks you, the human, to identify what accounting method it should use before generating the report. My version of QuickBooks is set up to default to accrual. Accrual means QuickBooks is going to tell me about the things that have happened whether or not they've been paid. And so I'm going to know about the invoices I sent to clients, even if they're not yet paid. And I'm going to know about the bills that I owe people money, even if they're not yet paid. If I switch this to a cash basis and I say to run report, QuickBooks is only going to tell me about the money that I've logged. It's not going to tell me about the things that I need to do or the money that I need to receive, but I haven't yet received. So for example, when I look at insurance expense, it's only 100 from the other transaction. That bill that I just entered, it doesn't show up because I haven't paid it yet. Let me just go and pay it real quick. So if I go to the magnifying glass and I go to the bill, magnifying glass just takes you to what you've done recently. Market is paid. We'll pay it today. We'll pay it with the credit card, save and close. And let me change this back to today's date. All I've done is I've said I've got my insurance bill and I've paid my insurance bill. On an accrual basis, my report doesn't change because it always knew about the bill. It was always telling me about the bill. If I change this to a cash basis and I say run report, now I can see my insurance expense has gone up. It's gone up because I've said, hey, I paid this bill. It doesn't matter that I paid it on the credit card and I haven't yet paid off the credit card. QuickBooks is just saying, here you are, you're all paid, you're good. Thank you so much for watching. If my team or I can be of help, please let us know. We offer custom training, outsourced bookkeeping, and on-demand self-paced courses. Thank you again and have a great day.